Hey guys, welcome to The Daily Devo. I'm Brent and today I want to remind you that God hears your prayers. In Luke chapter 1, there's this older couple named Zechariah and Elizabeth. Now, Zechariah is a Jewish priest, and he and his wife Elizabeth, they've never been able to have kids. As a matter of fact, because of their old age, they're to the point to where they are certain that they will not have kids. Y'all, one day, uh, Zechariah was serving in the temple, and he gets a divine visit from an angel named Gabriel. Now, shaking in fear, he has no idea what to do. So the angel calms him down and begins to share with him good news. And here's the good news he shares with him. In Luke chapter 1, we're going to look at verses 13 through 17. Here's what it says. But the angel said, don't be afraid, Zechariah. Uh, God has heard your prayer. Uh, your wife, Elizabeth, will give you a son, and you are to name him John. Uh, you will have great joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth, for he will be great in the eyes of the Lord. He must never touch wine or other alcoholic drinks. He will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth, and he will turn many Israelites to the Lord their God. He will be a man with the spirit and power of Elijah. He will prepare the people for the coming of the Lord. He will turn their hearts to the fathers, sorry, hearts of the fathers to their children, and he will cause those who are rebellious to accept the wisdom of the godly. Y'all, I think it's worth pointing out that just because you serve God, it doesn't exempt you from trials. If we were to read the whole narrative, which begins at verse 4, we can clearly see that Elizabeth and Zechariah clearly loved God. But for years, God never answered their prayers regarding giving them a child. Now today, we can see that God had a specific time and a specific purpose for when he would answer that prayer. You see, their son was no ordinary son. God would use him to prepare the hearts of men for Jesus. And here's what I need you to know. Just because God hasn't answered your prayer, it doesn't mean God doesn't hear your prayer. So I want to encourage you to keep praying. Remember that God does everything at a specific time for a specific purpose. So keep on praying. I promise you, he hears you.